You know, helping the community has, has been something that I personally have been always big about. And the family I was raised in was always about giving back. My name is Teresa, I'm 36 years old and I'm from Nigeria. It was a real problem for me, especially you know, coming from Africa, Nigeria. Sometime this year, in January, I you know, found out that you know, I had this lump. You know, I got the devastating news that I had breast cancer. I was afraid that I wouldn't be there to you know, watch my kids grow up. I decided to, you know, come out to the United States to make sure that I get properly treated and that I can leave for my kids. My name is Charlene. I was diagnosed with cancer when I was 12 years old. The chemotherapy and uh, radiation um, had a side effect on my heart. Gave me cardiomyopathy. They gave me an ICD, which is an implantable uh, cardio defibrillator on my left chest and they told me that my heart was failing. Dr. Simpson, he changed my ICD and then I went home for about two weeks and during that time I had um, fainted and I fell flat on my face and lost my front teeth. My husband and son were asleep and he saw me um, they down on the floor, and at that, at that time, he thought I was already dead, and he had lost me. I um, had to undergo surgery. I had um, chemotherapy, and then now radiation. And thankfully, you know, to, I, to God be the glory, I'm cancer-free at this point. My day has come to ring the bell. My journey much to tell. Ring this bell to toll this proud new day. My treatment's done and I'm on my way. Today she's very happy and we are, I'm glad to be part of that team that took care of her. I did so many tests and now I'm on the heart transplant list. The Altus Foundation reached out and met Dr. Polygon and he offered to give me my smile back. I actually heard his story through uh, our Altus Foundation. To be able to have some food so she can you know, be able to talk and eat. And as far as her looks give her that confidence, and, you know, she still has that pretty smile. She's a beautiful soul. And, uh, you know, we just want to do anything to help her right now. The look on their faces just makes your heart feel unbelievably warm. And the things that we're doing inside the community are things that no one else does. of actually affecting people's lives directly. From the bottom of my heart, I'm really grateful to Altos Foundation. People really care about 
me. You know, that has helped me in my journey in uh, getting better.